with Neil Bishop, a 3 0 defeat at Macclesfield. Confidence, it plays a big part. Yeah, look, we, uh, we, we knew the BPs of the game, everyone would have a lot of the football, but, you know, we, um, we're, not, we're not far from the middle. I just said we're nearly two. We, we, we're nearly keeping clean sheets, we're nearly, we're nearly getting there, we're nearly one pass from a great position, we're, nearly, we're one decision away from creating really good opportunities, but, you know, if you look at the goals, I think the first two we gave them, you know, we gave them, gave them the goals uh, from our own errors, but, you know, we'll, we'll learn. And then, um, I think we've had a great two, well, two great chances in the first half. Again, it's about confidence. I think we haven't even, well, you know, at the target, Ariel Ovick's put it over, but I think if you look at them, realistically, one of them has to go in. Start the second half, we wanted to be a bit more proactive. Obviously, the wind was ridiculous today and going straight down the pitch. I, mean, well, I think, again, you're looking at Neely and the pivotal moments, but he's put two fantastic balls in. You know, the near post, one we worked on it on the, on the training. That has to go be a goal. It has to be a goal. He's put it right on the money and the keeper's clawed it off the line, but we should be bundling that in. I don't know what other teams would be doing that to us. And in the free kick, um, where he's whipped it again, it's, gone, it's just gone on the far post, but you know, we're not in the positions where I wanted them to be in. Um, and that's what's so frustrating because we, 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 we got through it and we, and we worked on them. And, and certainly the two set players have got to be goals. They have to be goals. They're so big in this league. That gets you back in the, t- in the game. Look, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say we, we were a better team because they're, they're probably going to be streets ahead you know, of anything in this league, and, and so they should be. You know? I was just saying, stand with them, shaking hands with all their staff. And I thought it was a pitch invasion, the amount of people that were coming on the pitch. It was, it's ridiculous. It's night and day from where we are and where this football club is, but you know, that's the challenge. Um, we knew it was going to be tough at the start of the season. I've just said the lads now, we have to regroup. We have to focus on two massive home games next week because the longer it goes on without a win, the longer it goes on without a goal, it becomes more of an issue. Not to me, because I know once we do get to that corner, we'll be fine. Um, and if we've gone three games in January, November time, whenever, uh, with one one and two, sorry, one draw and two defeats, it's not really a problem because it's the start of the season, the longer it goes on, the more it's a stick for people to beat you with. But, you know, I'm calm. Um, I've had a chat with them there. And like I said, I'll... St- I've said you, you might think I'm a madman study here, but I don't think we're a million miles away. Um, and I think we need to let the hand break off on Tuesday and really, really believe in ourselves. I asked them before the game, honestly, do we believe that we we're going to get anything today? Um, and I'll be asking the same Tuesday. I've just said to him there, whatever team, whatever squad, we walk in the door Tuesday and we are focused on releasing that hand break and, and putting on a, a real positive performance on Tuesday night. Is that maybe what it is? A little bit of nervousness linked to that sort of confidence? Yeah, look, I've, I've been there. I've, I've played the game. I know what it's like. If you, the longer it goes on without scoring and, and, and not winning, it becomes more of an issue, more, more mentally for yourself. At times, your legs feel that bit heavy. It sounds crazy, but your legs feel that bit heavier. You're not seeing things early. It becomes almost an internal thing, and that's where you need strong characters to get through. I mean, look at Hilton on Tuesday with a far the better team for, for half an hour. Go, go change games. They score, get a man sent off, and all of a sudden they're flying and looking at a million dollars. Well, we've been the best team until the moments. But you know that'll happen. That'll happen. We'll get our nose in front hopefully Tuesday, and then you know they'll, they'll relax a bit and they'll play. Um, but you know t- today's not going to be a marker of our season. You know these should comfortably with everything they've got, the budget, everything here should comfortably win this league. Um, so it was never going to define our season, the result here today. You know, I don't go into any game except we're not going to win it. But, you know, the season's got to start for real on Tuesday. Is there one thing, just one thing, that you think we're missing? <laughs> Goals. <laughs> no, no, look, uh, it's hard. You know, you bought Dale in for Clates, who's missed three games. Your biggest signing, someone who'd make, who will make when he's fit a massive, massive difference in this team. You know, I've got to be sensible and think long term rather than just throwing him in. Because we need it, we think we need to go and get desperate. You know, I've got to, I've got to see the bigger picture because we don't lose him. We, we don't want to put him back into his fully fit. However frustrating and, and as hard as that is at the minute, but there's, there's pleasing things. So I'll show him on the video. I think sometimes management can stand in front of players and they can think, "What are you talking about?" I think sometimes I need to see it with their own eyes. We've done the video analysis on 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 Thursday training, and I think we can be brave with the football. So we take, we take mistakes because we're asking you to play that way, but. I can't take people not not wanting the football and not wanting to do the right things and move the ball through the thirds and then when we get in that final third, be really, really positive. You know, it's got once we get to them final thirds you've got to you've got to end with an end product, there's gonna be a cross, a shot, you know, there's gotta be something. 
we're getting up there, we're getting in the right areas of the pitch a lot of time and it's breaking down and then it's putting the, the stress back on the defence. So look, we're a work in progress. I'm, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I know what I've got in that dressing room. Um, I think the lads are starting to see it, the lads are starting to believe in it. The more they buy in and believe in it, um, the stronger we'll be. Okay, and just to finish, Habib was in the 16 today. Tell us a little bit about him and where he managed to pull <laughs> yeah. that little rabbit from. Well, when he came on, I, I, I wish I'd started him because he was outstanding. Um, but no, he, the, the, um, the paperwork only got we sort of yesterday, he hadn't trained with us. It wouldn't have been fair on the lad to, to throw him straight in. But he's, he's a type of player I love. You know, you could see he just wanted any 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 area of the pitch he wants to take the football. He, he took the football. A little Croy turned turn on the penalty spot. <laughs> yeah, give me something like that. But I mean, I love that. I, I do, rather than just kicking it away, I think it's not me or not hiking it. That he, he, he'll take the ball in any area. He'll, he'll want to progress. He'll, he'll pop it. He'll make different angles. Um, he's going to be a real asset for us. I'm, I'm, I'm so so grateful for the club for, for getting him on board. He's, you can see what a massive asset he's going to be. Whether he starts on Tuesday night, we'll have to have a look at it. But you know, a very, very good football, and I think he, he started knitting things together. You know, I want to see it, how we see it, how we looked at times last season. Um, and like I say, yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful we've been able to get him on board. And just home comforts Tuesday night, a big dip, double header. Yeah, massive. Every game is. So you, you know, like I say, the pressure and the and the chatter around it is going to go on. The longer we don't get that win, it's going to go on. Look at Isaiah again, massive. That's, Massive squad, massive good budget, but we. I just wanted to commit to our principles. You know, we're not going to win many games of football if we decide we're just going to take the easy option and, and smash it. And if they smash it, we because we won't win many games of football. The profile of player we've got through the door is is not that. You know, we, we haven't got the big experience lads. And we love a physical challenge. We've got to be brave with the football. Now we've got to be front foot. And I've just said to them now, maybe me and Stamp, we look at ourselves. Maybe we've you know held back a bit, but. I know I'm repeating myself, I really want that handbrake off. I want us to play free. I will take responsibility for every mistake, for every defeat, for everything that goes wrong. So I want the players to turn up Tuesday with that, 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 that freedom, that, that relaxation, knowing that they can go out there and really put on performance. I know what they're capable of, and I brought the majority of them, I'm going back every single one. And I, well, two results don't change my mind on that. You know, it doesn't sway my confidence in them. They're a good group. That it does matter to them. I've learned in the dressing room, um, and like I say, what what, um, what better opportunity than Tuesday night to start turning things around? Can't come quick enough. No. Cheers, Bish.